of all global crusade. I know God has been blessing you. Showers of Adam blessing, divine touch, divine solution, culminating in the great miracle explosion. Oh, you are ending the year in joy, and you are entering the following year in greater joy. Hallelujah! Lift up your right hand and shout, Hallelujah! We are here to pray. And as we pray, God is going to do wonders. Before we pray very quickly, let's read together. First Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 to 4. I exhort therefore that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and give your thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who we have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. We have here, number one, the precepts. Precept, a mandate, an instruction, an injunction to pray, applicate, so that God can intervene in the affairs of men. Number one, he said, I exhort therefore that first of all, there are so many good things we can get into, we can set about, we can plan, we can project, we can program, we can pursue. But the first thing to do before we can do anything meaningful, successful, impactful, powerful, is to pray and to prevail in prayer. Then number three, the personalities that we are praying for. Kings, all that are in authority, and all men generally. Then number four, the prophets and the prospects as we pray. There will be godliness, there will be honesty, corruption will be a thing of the past, there will be security, there will be peace, there will be quietness, so many things. Then, number five, the pleasure, the divine pleasure to heaven, to God, to the heart of the Almighty. When we learn to intercede and we become an army of prayer warriors and intercessors for our world, for the universe, for our generation. He says, this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, where we have all men to be saved. We are going to pray now, and we are starting by acknowledging him, the Most High God. In Psalm 22, in verse 28, for the kingdom is the Lord's, and he and he alone is the governor among the nations. Open your mouth and worship him. Lift up your right hand and say, I exalt you, the governor among the nations, the blessed potentate, the ruler of everyone earth, the one sitting upon that throne and controlling all realms of existence. Let's exalt him together. Let's worship him. Let's praise him, magnify him, glorify him, adore him, bless him, celebrate him, declare him as who he is, exalt him, extol him, glorify him, magnify him. In Jesus' name we pray. Our focus in this prayer is on righteousness. That we have a global awakening for righteousness. The reign of righteousness across the earth in governments at all levels, among community leaders, churches, and all realms of existence. And that there will be fear of God in the land. We are going to start by praying according to Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added. Proverbs 14, verse 34. Righteousness again. But sin is a reproach to any people. You are going to pray, Lord, release the reign of righteousness. Osea chapter 10, verse 12. It is time to seek the Lord in righteousness. So let's pray now. Lift up your right hand once again and say, Lord, release the reign of righteousness. The reign of righteousness upon every nation of the earth, upon every setting in the world, upon every system on earth. Let the rain fall, showers of righteousness, the rain of righteousness, the revival of righteousness. Let there be that push, that force, that divine move, that divine move. Let's pray. Righteousness across the earth until the earth is covered with righteousness as the waters cover the sea. In Jesus' name we pray. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But mighty true God to the pulling down of stronghold. We are going to pray now. Every structure, every system, every confederacy, every, every setting, every kaba, every group promoting on righteousness. My nation, in your nation, in our nations, across the earth, pull them down. Open your mouth now. 
pull them down. You have the authority. You are a spiritual soldier. You are anointed of the Lord. Yes. Establish. Everything you bind on earth will be bound. You lose on earth will be loose in heaven. The structures will collapse. Yes. Pull them down in the name of the Lord. Destroy them. Dismantle them. I have set you over the nations and the kingdoms to pull down, to throw down, to cast down, to destroy. Do that now. Every structure, system, cabal, mafia, conspiracy, confederacy, setting, promoting unrighteousness, pillar of unrighteousness. Pull them down. 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 Down, 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 down. That name is above is mighty that name is glorious pray in the name of the lord in the name we pray amen the word of god says and this is very very important in proverbs chapter 16 verse 12 it is an abomination to kings to commit wickedness for the throne is established by righteousness we are going to pray lord let all the rulers across our nations be controlled bit of righteousness open your mouth and pray open your mouth and call upon the lord in second samuel chapter 23 we're told in verses 2 and 3 that whoever rules among men must rule in the fear of god pray they will have the fear of god the king's heart is in the hands of the lord that the lord will plant in their heart the fear of the living god and it will cause them to rule and to reign in righteousness. Open your mouth and pray. Call upon the Lord. In all our nations across the earth, let all our rulers and leaders be controlled by the Spirit of God to rule, to reign in righteousness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray. Pay attention. We are told in Acts 13 verse 47, for so have the Lord commanded us, saying, I have set thee to be a light of the Gentiles, that thou shouldest be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. We want to pray for our Father in the Lord. The Lord has set him as a light to the Gentiles. Jesus Christ, you see him as a vessel, the Spirit of God possessing him as an instrument in the hands of God to spread salvation to the ends of the earth. Pray, Lord, renew the strength of your servant. Anoint him more than ever before. Tonight, unparalleled, unprecedented anointing will operate and flow through him. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Lord will use him. The Lord will use him as he has never used him before. And beyond tonight, the Lord will use him more and more and more and more until righteousness spreads to the ends of the earth. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried. If any man fast, let him come. It is your time, it is your turn. Open your mouth tonight and pray and say, Lord, I come. This is the climax of the program. Here am I. I'm going to receive tonight as never before in my entire history. Pray. The kind of miracle you've never witnessed. The kind of divine visitation you've never witnessed. The kind of showers of blessing you have never received in your entire history. In your entire history, tonight we are receiving. Pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, we, we know you have answered. Across the length and breadth of our universe, raise up your church as an army to spread righteousness, to promote righteousness, to proclaim righteousness. Until righteousness covers the earth as the waters cover the sea. Our Father and the Lord, renew his strength. You see much more than ever before. We're asking and praying that tonight you will do the remarkable, the memorable, the unforgettable. Tonight, everyone will keep on remembering for life. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And